Hey there, it's Kevin from Product Design Online. And in this tutorial, I wanna walk you through how to make a cork-like material in Fusion 360. So I have this ballet tray here and I'm gonna make a mold out of it and then eventually pour it in concrete. So I'm gonna wanna put some cork on the bottom that I'm gonna laser cut. I'm gonna show you here how to kind of simulate the cork like texture by using an image and a custom material here. So if I click on the, the bottom here, which I've created a new or separate body, if I right click, you'll see that it pops up and I can check the appearance tab. Now to start off, I'm just gonna throw an oak texture on there. And I wanna point out that I just put it on the bottom face here because the sides I'm gonna end up putting a little bit of a darker color to really simulate that laser cut charred look. So what I'm gonna do is edit the texture or appearance, and then I'm gonna rename it cork. Now, if I click the advanced tab, you'll see that the, there's an image here that was set by Fusion for this oak look. Now, if I click on that and click on source, I can actually upload my own image. So I'm gonna click this fine grade cork image here which you can also download attached to this video in the description. Now you'll see that the cork is loaded and it's a little too big for my liking. So what we can do is go ahead and close out of that and then re-edit it. And now I can actually change the scale a little bit. So I'm just gonna play around with the scale here and try and figure out what I think looks the most realistic for the cork I have. And sometimes it may be helpful to look at it from some different angles here. Now you can also change the rotation or roughness or reflectance here, but with this cork image, it's not really going to change anything. So I'm just going to drop them down a little bit. Now I'm going to move my model so I can take a look at it from the side here. And again, I want to put some sort of a darker look. So for now, I'm probably just gonna use one of the pre-made black paint functions here. Now I want black and you'll see here that the black is not pre-installed. So you'll have to hit that download button and it shouldn't take too long to install this to your Fusion 360. Once you have the object or material installed, you'll wanna select your faces this time while holding down shift. Now, there's one thing I forgot to do here. You'll see it keeps prompting me to remove the face. Well, that's because I didn't change the faces selection up here, and it's trying to put this powder coat black to the whole entire object. So what I need to do is select faces here. Now, if I reselect them and I drag them there, it'll load it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all the way around. And if there's one thing that I learned doing this that I always forget is sometimes Fusion is kind of picky as far as where you're dropping the material. So I recommend zooming in as far as you can and dragging and dropping your material directly on the face you want to change. Otherwise, you'll see here in my sped up video that I had a little bit of a struggle for a while because it kept wanting to change the bottom face. Now we've obviously spent a few minutes creating this cork-like material, so I want to go ahead and save this to my appearance library, so if I ever need to use this again, it won't take any time. All we have to do is right-click on the material itself and click Copy to My Appearances. Now you'll see here I already had a cork named one, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it because I like this one better. Now, if I click on the My Appearances tab, you'll see that it's uploading the material, so now I will have it for later use. And last but not least, as always, be sure to double check that you save your project before you lose any of the work you just spent time doing. If you learned something in this video, be sure to subscribe and check out Product Design Online for more resources.
If you learned something in this video, be sure to subscribe and check out Product Design Online for more resources.